everybody. So last night I had on the Bite Flies new device called Sensor Dot. Probably haven't heard of it. It's a type of EEG that you can do yourself at home. So it's not available to the public yet, but I was testing it out. And so I've already washed my hair. Basically, I had two electrodes on on each side behind each ear, and I'm going to show you them. Oh, look. Just look, two for each side, and then I connected those to using this bit here to another device which I stuck to my back. So, just like basically under towards the top, towards the top of my back, and yeah, so I didn't have um, obviously electrodes all over my head, just my temporal lobe and my. Personally, my temporal lobe is the most uh, irritating lobe of my brain. Uh, well, tissue of what remains anyway. And so, yeah, this was just me trying this out. And uh, also, the device has this. Um, you can see the logo of a little butterfly in the middle. <laughs> um, and then one of these I take away um, and I stick it inside this blue thing on my back. Now, this... Well, I was really rubbish at putting it on. My first time, to be fair. Um, so I did get the tape stuck to my hair a bit. But you think about it, just around there, it didn't affect the way that I slept at all. And I didn't have to have a big pouchy thing with me, you know, like a power pack. And, um, oh, another thing I had to do near the beginning, when I attached the electrodes to my head. So imagine, like these, behind my ear, right? And then I had to plug each bit in so before it was attached to this, into this device to see how um, well it was adhered to my skin. I wasn't very good at it the first time. I'm gonna try this again later this week because I actually find it quite fun doing it. And also it's teaching me to not get my hair stuck um, under the sellotape. And also really makes me appreciate just some of the work that is done by neurophysiologists because um, yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. So, um, oh, and I've also been told that, so this, the data that is collected from your brain over the period is somehow, you know, it's whizzed over to wherever, and then that data can be analysed by your physiologist, your neurologist, whatever. So that is what is going to happen. Um, so, oh, I have to say, one of the really positive things about this is you don't have your scalp scraped. You know, so if, well, people who haven't had an EEG yet, what happens is you go into hospital and they scrape your scalp with this, uh, it feels like, to me, coarse sand, so to enable better adherence of the electrodes. You don't have to worry about that here. Um, and, oh, the wires are really short as well, which I showed you, but I'll show you again. And they come in two bits, so they would come out, it's like a plug, they plug together because with like a, a regular EEG, they're like bleh, everywhere and then they have to be tied so they don't get caught anywhere. Um, and it's harder to put your clothes on and, and take your clothes off. Um, oh yeah, and it looks pretty slick. It really reminds me of Apple. Um, it's just so much easier and kind of cooler to use. Now, I don't know about the results. This is just an example of what it's been like for me to use it haven't seen obviously the data come out or anything that's not part of this it's just an experience using something hopefully cool um, and which will hopefully be of use to other people uh, with epilepsy the more data we can collect of ourselves um, the more effectively fingers crossed our neurologist can a neurophysiologist potentially can help uh, diagnose and treat us so uh, yeah. Oh, and so I'm going to be doing loads more of these videos. And if anybody has a spare like three quid a month, it would be wonderful just to have a little bit of support on Patreon. So our Patreon, I set up a Patreon page and I'll provide the details below the URL. If you just, it could be a one-off payment as well. Uh, if you could just give me a little bit of support, that would be wonderful because I really want to get out more information Um leading to more knowledge about epilepsy and epilepsy research and psychiatric issues that often go with it. Um, and yeah, so if there are any questions, please let me know. I'll also provide the link to uh, Bike Flies below. And yeah, I will speak to you all soon.